What's up, guys? This is Trev the Great here again from Way of the Swan. Uh, just talk about something that's very exciting to me anyway. I don't know if you'll be excited by it, but I guess we'll see. And that is the War Machine Weekend Invitational. Now, if you uh, read my blog or follow me on Facebook or Twitter, which you should totally do if you don't, I'm on Twitter at Trevi the Great, on Facebook at Way of the Swan, and you can check out my blog at www.wayoftheswan.com. Uh, but anyway, I played in a War Machine Weekend Invitational qualifier this past weekend called the Dark Omen Invitational. Uh, to get into that, I needed to win or place top three in another event, uh, a five-round 32-man steamroller called Boost for a Cure that the Dark Omen Gaming Club up here in the Northeast was running. And I ended up winning Boost for a Cure, getting my spot to the Dark Omen Invitational, getting into the Dark Omen Invitational, and winning that too, uh, which actually was an enormous surprise to me. I didn't expect to win it uh, or do very well at all. The field was was very rough. There were a lot of excellent players there, and a lot of troll bloods and a lot of cricks, which is uh, are factions that I tend to have a trouble with. But um, I ended up going in there with uh, Epic Haley with a Thornwall build. It's uh, Thorn and Stormwall. I had Gun Majors and Stormblades in that list. I think you've seen it on my YouTube channel before if you watch my battle reports. I went. I also had a Striker Two list, uh, which is my favorite Striker Two list, which had uh, Gun Mages, Forge Guards, Storm Lances, a Bonded Lancer. Uh, like Black 13th, Iron and a Hole, and a bunch of solos. And then a siege list that I, it was super secret tech that I had been making uh, with the help of a couple people to fight Cricks, uh, especially like Epic Denegra. And Siege ended up um, fighting that really well. Epic Denegra is sort of a, a disease up here. She's like a this rampant um, epidemic that everyone plays her, and it sucks because she's really good, and I'm not very good at playing against Cricks. So I brought, I brought Siege um, just to, you know, Siege himself is just going to camp focus and walk up the table and just threaten assassination on Epic Denegra because he can kill her almost anywhere she is as long as she's in his control area. Um, and the rest of the list just had a bunch of guns and was going to shoot Crick stuff. Uh, but what ended up, ended up happening was I uh, played Protectorate round one. Um, uh, it was a Resnick one versus Haley two. Resnick one is actually kind of a rough matchup for Haley two. Uh, he's usually teched out to beat Signar because none of his stuff can be, you know, have spells thrown at it. Otherwise, it gets to move for free. So I ended up uh, not really getting to cast many spells, but I rolled pretty well early on in the game. Actually, really well. My bo my Stormwall rolled box cards for damage on a Reckoner two times in a row, which is pretty solid. Pro tip: do that. It wins you games. Um, and I was able to take out uh, most of my opponent's battle group and his uh, battle engine. Without losing much in return, I lost most of my Stormblade infantry, but that was fine, um, and used my feet. But the scenario was uh, Balance of Power, which is very difficult to win, especially when you can't TK your opponent's models, uh, otherwise they just walk back in the scenario zone. So uh, I didn't really have an end game. It, turned, it came down to uh, a Templar trying to kill a Stormwall, getting some pretty bad dice and leaving it alive. Resnick had to go in and do it after I had left him on one box from an assassination run, and Haley ended up killing Resnick in melee. Uh, so pretty solid. She killed a lot of things in melee with that spear of hers, actually. People get surprised by, like, Power Strength 13, but she has 8 focus to boost with, so sometimes she gets it done. Uh, round 2, I played against another Signar player from uh, the Dark Omen Gaming Club. He run, he played Haley 2 against me. I dropped Striker 2, and the scenario was destruction. He was very aggressive early, and both our dice, like, exploded over the course of the game. Um, the first shot of the game, I had a, an aiming gun mate shoot at Iris, one-shot her, under deceleration, needing a 9 to hit and a 9 to kill. Uh, and my opponent Mage Storm needed a, a group of Forge Guard. He killed all four of them with the Mage Storm. They were armor 20, so he needed 9s. And uh, he killed Runewood in a trench with the Journeyman Warcaster, needing a 13 to hit. So, like, just crazy things happened. But he got very aggressive. My Storm Lances went in, were able to cripple his Stormclad, and I killed uh, Anastasia and Iris and Gorman very early. So Striker sort of tanked the game out and ended up winning on Scenario there. Uh, at the end of the game, we had like seven models left on the board, so it was a very hard attrition game. Uh, round three, I hit, I hit Cricks, and I was very sad, uh, and it was in a, ba a bad scenario. It was fire support, and my opponent had Stixis Raiders, which is already pretty bad because he can jam me out of the zones and win on scenario very quickly, and ended up winning the roll to go first, which makes it even worse for me. Um, but it, on my opponent's um, turn, his second turn, he, uh, Terminus ended up moving very close and uh, not completely within the minus two strength bubble from Daregrath. So Striker went in with a three d six overload and chopped his head off. Um, it was it was a pretty close thing. I hit my charge attack with Path to Victory, uh, left him on eight boxes, and swinging it straight dice. I rolled eight for my my strength and damage, and then um, 
I boosted to hit my second attack, boosted the damage, and triple ones did. But I still had one focus left, bottom attack, hit, killed him, he failed his tough check. Uh, even if he hadn't, I had about four or five forge guard that could have made charges on him with that desperate pace. So I felt pretty good about that assassination run. I think it was a it was a solid play. Um, obviously, 3d6 overload is pretty dangerous. If you roll a 17 or an 18 on those three dice, you die and lose the game. But uh, I, did, I didn't feel like I could win the game in the long run, especially on that scenario. I might have played it out any other scenario, but that fire support so easy to win on scenario. And uh, if I hadn't uh, gone for something crazy there, then my opponent probably would have scored at least four points that turn and then jammed me out and scored the, the remainder on the next turn. Uh, final round was against Trollbloods. I was locked into Siege, having played Striker twice and Haley once. And I uh, wasn't feeling too good about it. My opponent decided to take Epic Madrak with just tons of dudes. It had Max Fenblades, Max Crew Warriors with all the fixins, um, Max Burrowers, two Fell Collars, two Kith Cars, Max Stone, just tons and tons of trolls across the table for me. Uh, and the scenario was Incursion. Now, that scenario is very, very bad for trolls. They don't like to spread out a lot. And as soon as they spread out and they lose that Creel Stone buff, their stuff, their defensive stats drop very, very quickly. Um, on top of that, my the flag that I wanted to go away did go away. There was like a house between it and the rest of my dudes. I could have gotten some rangers over there to fight for it and some storm smiths, but it would have been tough to get the majority of my force over there. And he had his whole unit of Creole warriors across from it. But that flag went away, ended up going to the other flag across from which I had all my Nis. And uh, Siege was sort of positioned on that side of the table. And he, oh, he only had Fen Blades. So I had some bad dice early on in the game. It was uh, I was having a little trouble killing his dudes. And then it swung around for me pretty quickly. I was able to clear the flag um, three times. Or I cleared it twice in a row. I tried to, to clear the center flag and almost got it. My uh, Rangers missed five consecutive sevens to hit a, uh, uh, a pygmy and wasn't, weren't able to clear the flag. And then um, the next turn, I just killed everything left that my opponent had to contest the right flag, Siege ran in base-to-base, -base, and I ended up winning the game. So that brought is uh, got me a flight to St. Louis to play in the War Machine Weekend Invitational, which is an enormous deal. Um, like a year ago, I didn't think I would ever get this far in War Machine, but I'm very excited to go. Um, I've been thinking about my list. I looked at all the, um, all the other players that have qualified so far, and there's a ton of cricks. There are so much cricks, it makes my head explode. Um, I think, now, they could play different factions, but I think out of the 28 players that have qualified so far, there are nine Crix players. Uh, there are four, if I remember off the top of my head. Um, I know there are three Kador players. There are four Circle players. There are two Signar, two Mercenaries, two Trollbloods, um, and some other factions. But Crix is the big, the... You know, sort of boogeyman in the room, and I'm going to have to deal with him. And I think the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to switch out my Halo list a little bit. I'm going to drop most of the everything besides the Stormwall and Thord, and I'm going to turn it into a Tier 4 Stormbringers list just to shoot lightning at stuff and try to kill him. Um, I'm not feeling too good about my Crix matchup, especially in a two-list environment where I don't have, like, a solid counter like Haley 1 that I can take and just tech her out for Crix. Um, because the Invitational is three list, but um, I'm excited to see how it goes. Honestly, I'm not expecting to win the event. I'm just excited to be there. So if you are in going to War Machine Weekend, look out for me. Say hi. Uh, that would be sweet. Um, I'll probably be writing a lot on my blog, or, uh, wayoftheswan.com, about my practice leading up to the event. I uh, sort of want to document the thought process I'm going through build, building lists for it, and I'm just like super excited right now. So... Um, I hope you guys enjoy this little tiny video, and um, stay tuned for some more battle reports. I am recording more battle, report, re battle reports right now. Those are not going away, and uh, I, I had a little oopsie where I you know lost my camera for a little bit, and then uh, got some battle reports that didn't, weren't, didn't turn out too well, but we're back. I'm making battle reports. It's going to be sweet. Stay tuned for them. Talk to you later.